Okay, we're going to look at the automatic decompression feature on the Lifem 5 horsepower engine. So first off, we're going to observe the valve activity on the engine as she turns in her direction of rotation. So here we can see is the exhaust valve and the inlet valve. So let's see what's happening. So we can see the exhaust valve is opening and the exhaust valve is starting to close. Now we know from our studies that as the exhaust valve closes, the inlet valve is going to open. So we're just watching there. So we can see the inlet valve has just started to open. So if we move the crankshaft back and forth, we'll see that. And you see, as the exhaust valve closes, the inlet valve opens. And that point there is called rocking. So the valves are said to be rocking. So at that point, we know that the crankshaft is at top dead center, and she's about to come down on her induction stroke. So we're going to turn the engine around its induction stroke. We're going to go to bottom dead center in the induction, and you can see the inlet valve opens fully and then closes, which is what you would expect. Now we're going to start coming up on compression and we'd expect both valves to remain closed but observe closely so you can see there a small move from the exhaust valve so we just go backwards and we just observe that again so coming back up on compression and you can see that the exhaust valve was just momentarily lifted off its seat which you wouldn't expect to find on the compression stroke so now we're going to look at the mechanism that allows this to happen. The whole thinking behind the idea is that lifting the exhaust valve off its seat gives you automatic decompression, which aids cold starting. So we're going to look at the camshaft and see what causes this. So here's the camshaft from the engine. And we can see here, as we're looking at her, um, she normally turns clockwise. So there's a direction of rotation. And if we look at the lobes here, we can see the inlet lobe and the exhaust lobe. So we can see if we take this as the top of the engine, we can see that the exhaust valve is fully open. And we're going to turn around slowly. And we can see the inlet lobe is coming up, meaning that the inlet valve is about to open. So at that point there now, that's rocking. So as we continue to turn, piston's now going down. She's on induction. As so we continue to turn, she's coming back up on compression. And at this stage, we would expect both valves to be fully closed. But if we inspect this guy, we can see there's the lobe, but at the back of the lobe, we have this lump here, which is going to lift the valve off its seat. Now, we can see that the whole thing is controlled by a mechanism here. And if you look at the far side, there's the same mechanism. Now it's operating as a very light spring. So it's obvious that the whole thing is speed controlled. So at low speeds, such as when you're cranking the engine, this guy is in here and he gives you the automatic decompression. But once the engine fires, the high speeds here will cause this fellow to move out. Centrifugal force will cause him to move out and you get normal valve operation. So that's the automatic decompression feature of the Lifen 5 horsepower engine.